unclear why this species, who call themselves the Grunrr, is that G-R? I honestly, my eyes are blurring looking at it. I've got quite poor vision. Okay, we discovered an archaeological site already. Fallen civilization inhabited the planet. Okay. And do I want to drop the minerals on this net? Yes. For the, for the society uh, research, absolutely. Because society research is really nice. How's the other science ship going? Okay, it's fine. Hasn't found anything yet. I'm just telling it to explore, just because I want to meet other races. Okay, investigate alpha aliens. Do I want to do this now? Got to learn their language. Um, but the unity is really nice. Take 22 months. But we're about to finish that. You know what? The language is more important. Because we do need to get diplomacy going. Upscaling complete. Here we go. And preemptively move over to the main place again. Competitive fleet. Again. Beta aliens. Yeah, we've met another alien race. All right, well, we'll have to research that one after this. Damn. Good thing we got that uh, research lab up there to speed up our society research just a little. That helps us with language. Gained a level. Nice. You know what? I, I should probably just get this research station or these research stations here already. Considering we're going to stay, we're going to try and keep under our empires for a limit. Those little bits of research will actually equal a lot more than I'm used to. So we'll see how it goes. Pronounced Gruner? Maybe. Probably. That sounds right. Oh my god, we're getting unity so fast. Because this would let us get federations and envoys. Envoys are really nice, but we don't have the capability to make a federation. We haven't met anyone. So Empire trade value of 10% would be really nice because that's immediately boosting our economy and our unity, which will get us even more bonuses. Ooh. Okay, if, we're ta if we take that planet, we're going to have to... Ooh, archaeological site too. If we take that planet, it's going to have to be with robots. So we're going to have to learn some robotic stuff early. Upscaling complete. Don't forget to turn on Explore the Stars. Ooh, yeah, good idea. Map the stars, yeah. We're willing to spend the influence on that early. Outlier identified. Was this, uh, uh... Yeah, do the anomaly first. Okay, I'm fine with that. Hey, Kyle. Uh, okay. Yes. About, uh, hab habitable. <sighs> habitable? Nope. Habitatable. That doesn't feel like a word to me, but it probably is. It almost definitely is, and I'm just illiterate. MDB never learned how to read. <laughs> Look, just remember at home, you probably have better eyes than me, and you also don't have spotlights on your eyes. I do have spotlights on my eyes, and if I turn them off, it looks like this, and this looks like crap. So I have to have spotlights in my eyes. <laughs> That's my excuse, and I'm sticking with it. Uh, yes, I will research the space amoeba, because I know I can get good stuff out of it. Also, I meant to colonize this a while ago, and I forgot, because I'm dumb. I'm going to name this planet after someone. From the chat. First name I see in the chat. Sandwich Eat Fresh. There we go. All right, we've got a colony ship starting to go take that planet. Just finished the Hitman and WWE playthroughs. I've done a bunch of WWE games now. I want to do more. All right, construction ship is waiting there because he kind of has to. I hate, I don't know why he does this, but by default, there, enter, enter orbit. You start with a space station that has the, or a shipyard that has the, um, where is it? The crew quarters so that it lowers docked ship upkeep. But by default, your ships aren't docked. They're just flying in the same system for no reason. It's weird. There we go. That'll that'll save us a little bit of money in, in upkeep and stuff. All right, how's this ship doing? 
Future market survey complete. Beautiful. And I I need to learn more languages. It's too important right now. So back on the home world here. Uh, we need 35 population to get the next building. Well, you know, our food is so good. I should have done this earlier. I'm going to use a thousand food to encourage population growth. So population grows on the home planet 25% faster. Because that will really bolster the economy. Right now we just need a workforce. Market fee down. We're not buying anything yet. Base pro uh, trade pro uh, protection for trade rights increased. That'll mean that pirate stuff is less of a problem. You're watching the Mario Brothers 3 videos and they're really cheering you up. Thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm, thank you. Thank you for watching it. I'm happy that it's cheering you up because I'm, I really like that playthrough. So thank you for watching that playthrough. Uh, I'm gonna t I'm gonna take the trade protection because we don't need an envoy right now, and we get uh, we're getting our unity so quickly that I'm not really worried about not being prepared. Damn, seriously? Okay, move, explore that way then. Jesus, running into every enemy. I'm surprised our science ship keeps getting away from these unscathed. What's different about the ring world? It's a very small planet right now, and we need to repair it to get the most out of it. So it starts off as kind of a weak planet, but it'll get really strong. We do have some advantages, though. Like, food is awesome right now. Outlier identified. Some of our resources are doing well. Oh, yeah. Research that anomaly. All right. I think we do want to just take this place now. Because we're not near our empire sprawl limit. You can see that easier now. Bread from Canada. I'm also from Canada. Is somewhere I can read the Empire details? Uh, it'll be on the beginning of the YouTube video with a super short version. Oh, we, we've we met an artisan troop. We'll probably be interacting with these guys more than we usually do. These little, basically, city-states. Yeah, we could commission an art piece for 6,000. I cannot afford that, though. We should become your patron. Tenure program. Uh, with a one-time upfront cost. New ideas and take more risk in our creative process. What would this be? We need an energy stockpile of at least a thousand. This would be monthly unity and opinion increase. Wow, that's good. Yeah. Okay. We're probably going to be befriending a lot of those guys to get little bonuses for our country. Uh, sell some food? We could, but the market fees are pretty bad right now. Maybe my next upgrade, I'll, I'll bring the market fees down so we get a better exchange rate. Have you played their billions? I played their billions a little bit when it was very new, when it was still early access, and I don't even think it was a public game yet, and it was pretty fun. So I gotta play it again now that it's had a lot of updates. Colonial Enterprise upsizing. A great day for my dry bread, energy, and minerals. Engineering research, beautiful. We're still studying another alien language. Okay. Almost done it, though. And we are officially starting to settle this planet. Establish a listening post on YouTube. Situation log revised. Ah, for studying drones. Okay. I do want to finish that Unity research now, now that we know that neither of those languages are for, like, a major race. We can, we can wait on those now. Upscaling complete. Uh, sad to see that your other Let's Plays don't do a nearly as well as the Pokemon challenges. I mean, I wish they did better, yeah, but I don't mind too much. I get that it's not everybody's thing, but it's the thing that I love the most. Deja vu dig. Oop. Subterranean vault. Hmm. All right. Well, we'll let that continue then. We're going to need a science ship to check this ar archaeological site out at some point. Oh my god, we have another one over there too? Oh my god. Yeah, I guess I'll take all these. I didn't think I was going to end up taking all these stars, but we might. Want to see. And uh, for, any for anyone watching now who's wondering about the uh, Animal Crossing, we'll switch to that in about half an hour, maybe. Okay, yeah, let's reduce market fees. So that drops our market fees from 30% to 20 which still isn't amazing, but that is a pretty steep change. So I could just sell a bunch of food now. We are getting a lot of food. 
I'm gonna sell 500 food and mineral. Talk to the artisan troop. I want to become your patron. So we lose a thousand uh, credit. Their opinion of us goes up by 20, which is pretty nice. And for 120 months, we gain 10% more monthly unity, which is pretty big because we do gain a lot of unity for this early in the game. So there we go. There we go. We, we are on better terms with them. We can also commission art pieces for 600. What would that do? Another 10 opinion and gain access to the art, uh, the exhibit art monument decision, which increases immigration poll and amenities. That's really nice. We'll probably do that once we meet another race to get our immigration pull up so we can get our population up off the countries that we befriend in the, uh, in the trade union, you know? We need to get some immigration to help populate the new planet we're getting. Research actualized. Uh, what led to doing the original Ratata run? Uh, I, I said in the first minute of the Ratata run, I, I talked about some of the ones that I watched and I thought they were pretty fun. So I, I felt like doing one because it looked like a fun time. Uh, and what kept you doing them? Uh, they're fun to do. Same thing like, it's the same thing I believe like, with every series I, I do. You know, I, I had a lot of series that were really popular over the years that I stopped doing because I just kind of lost my passion for it. It's just, I'm, I'm an old school YouTuber who has an old school YouTuber mentality of uh, when it stops being fun, I stop doing it, whether it's popular or not. And the thing that I've found the most consistently fun for the last 10 years has always been Let's Play. So that's why it's always been the thing that's there, even if it's not that popular. I like it. Oh my god, another good world. We're getting really lucky here. All right, well, we've queued up taking that area, too. I'm glad you enjoy your job so much. I'm I'm glad that you uh, enjoy watching. Can't wait for Fortnite vid, JK. I don't get why people shit on Fortnite, to be honest. It just seems like people shit on it because it's popular with kids. I don't know. Seems like a douchey thing to do to me. Why being mean to someone over something just because they like something that kids also like? It, it seems really stupid to me. I don't know. Research actualized. All right. Well, that that and that way is a dead end. I'm gonna go out that way. Okay. Uh, survey speed. Absolutely, I want survey speed because that'll get me those amenities. Upscaling complete. <laughs> don't change. Don't worry. I'm not gonna. Um, I'm too stubborn to change. You guys know me. All right. Let's get another colonial ship out there. We just need. 33 more. Oh, we're getting consumer goods so, so slowly. Let's just uh, buy some. There. Oh, I forgot to name that. Whatever, we can rename it later. It doesn't matter. Okay, we surveyed that, and that one's not really worth the, the Empire Sprawl. So I'm probably just going to keep this little bit here. This might be it. I might take that one. We'll see. Um, okay, well, I, I want to get an Ascension perk soon, or else I would go into Discovery, so I'm going to get the ability to make Federations and get our billionth Envoy? That is our sixth Envoy. None of them are doing anything. We don't have a use for them yet. Have you played Pixelmon? I haven't, but I've heard about it. The cycle of boomer mentality? That's kind of what it feels like to me, is just this weird thing of hate the new thing because it's new and kids like it. I don't know, man. It Seems like a fine game. I haven't played it, but I don't know. It looks like a well-made game. Don't know why people are so mad about Research it. Actualized. I don't know. It just seems like a silly thing to get mad about to me. You know? It's a video game. It's a game. Have fun. If you don't like it, don't play it. You know? I thought we all agreed, like, don't, don't shit on things just because it's not your cup of tea. You know? But then again, everyone says that, and then they forget that when it comes to something that they don't get and they've chosen to never research, like pro wrestling. Then they just say it's stupid, and they know nothing about it. And they know nothing about fans of it. They think that fans of it think it's real. When it's been openly fake since, uh, 1993? I wanna say? Like, on, on an episode of Monday Night Raw, they, they advertise shows on their website where they're out of character eating dinner together and talking about backstage stories. On the weekly show, they advertise the shows where they're out of character. Like, I'm rambling. Let's get pop growth speed. We do need pop growth speed early. 
And as much as I do like the Tylon blockers, now that we're taking planets, pop growth speed is so nice to have, and the earlier you get it, the better. Latest newsletter to all of our patrons. Ah, that's awesome. Makes me think of Patreon. <laughs> I need to make Patreon posts more often, but back when I did, no one liked them, no one watched them. People just always donated, and when I asked them for the info to give them rewards, they always just said, Oh, I don't need any rewards, I just want to support you. Which is really wholesome. Uh, sadly, nothing has been produced in the Enclave. Cool. Fall into a deep melancholy where there's no inspiration can be drawn. Any donations can be help. Fucking fleecing me. Alright, I'll donate. I'll donate 500 credits. I got a little bit of uh, influence out of it, I think. Which is pretty nice, actually. The influence... It's not like the previous... It's not like the previous file where we were drowning in influence the whole game. This is like a regular game where influence is hard to get. But we just gained the trait Eye for Talent. Letter, le leader level cap up by 1. And experience gain up by 20%. That's actually really big. I'm also an expansionist, so Starbase cost is in. Which is nice to have early on, but I don't really want that in the long run. Expansionist isn't helpful for us. Champion of the people, happiness up, that's always good. Keeping the people happy is pretty important. Anyway, uh, we're, we're finding, we're, we're currently surveying this place, but it looks like it might just be a bust, so... After that, I'm just gonna help try to find new races, you know? I don't like how blocked in we are. We're going to need an actual fleet soon. Oh my god. So many aliens we're running into. We're going to need an actual competitive fleet at some point. Just to wipe out some of these areas so we can go meet other aliens, you know? Like, take them out? That and we, you know, speak softly and carry a big stick. If you have a big army, then they're less likely to declare war on you, and they're more likely to actually want to do diplomacy with you. So it's really important. What's wrong with boomers? Live and let live? Yeah, I've got no problem with boomers. It's literally just a joke, saying it's a boomer mentality. Okay, we can we can investigate Epsilon aliens, which may actually be another race finally. So let's immediately research their language to get some diplomacy going. Came for the Pokemon challenge. Awesome. Hello from Mississauga. Hello, I'm next to Mississauga. I'm in Oakville. I used to live in Mississauga. I used to live in Streetsville, and the fact that I said I used to live in Streetsville will probably immediately tell you that I used to live in a bad place. <laughs> yeah, the apartment in Streetsville had roaches. Streetsville is not the funnest. I hope very much that you aren't about to say that you live in Streetsville. <laughs> oh, hey! That's, that's a country. There we go. Look at that. Spiritual seekers, so they are egalitarian and fanatic spiritualists. Okay, well, fanatic spiritualists is a little difficult to deal with, but we might be able to befriend these guys. We finally met another country. Dan Clarkson. Okay. Gunboat diplomacy. Yes. So what are they? Investor and charismatic. They're civics. Effective bureaucracy. That's a pretty useful one for making a big country. And shadow council. So they're, they're a republic, but they're probably rigging all their elections because they're a shadow council, so it's cheap for them to do. Their fleet's overwhelming compared to us, whereas the economy and tech is about equal. Which means that they know they're stronger than us. But we don't have border friction, at least. So what I want to do immediately is improve relations. Uh, I'm going to start just dumping a bunch of envoys on them. Now, are we about to meet another country? No, that was because we just we just finished communication research with them. So I'm going to give them literally every envoy I have. There. All six envoys are currently befriending these guys. They're going to start to trust us very quickly. Hopefully. This game's pretty as fuck. I know, right? It looks nice. Now, envoys can be, re can be uh, redistributed after one year of being in place. So I've just put all of them there, and we're going to start moving them out to other countries as we meet other countries from then on. Old Stellar's diplomacy was dumb. I agree. It didn't really make much sense. Okay, we can max this out. Here we go. So this uh, this will increase fed, uh, Federation naval capacity uh, by twice as much, yes. Uh, the amount we contribute towards it goes up. The main re That's fairly useless to me right now, but I want to top it off because then we get the diplomacy perk of our trust cap increases by a lot and trust growth, which is absolutely massive. 
And we get an Ascension perk. So we get to pick from a bunch here. Let's see what we can pick from here. 